What if I told you that the video you're about to watch was automatically created from text? Would you believe me? Let's take a look and when we come back, I'll show you how I did it. Now that you've watched that short video of how I converted text into video automatically using InVideo, let me show you how I did it. So number one, have the text that you want to convert into a video. For example, for that video, I had this particular uh, topic, nine tips to speed up audio and video transcription. And then I had the different points. So all you need to do is just have the text that you're going to convert to video. So I'll show you how I did it. And if you're interested in getting InVideo, Kindly use the link below and if you want to get a 25% discount, use the code DMB25 to get 25% on checkout. So let's look at how you do it. I'm inside in video and this is an online video editor. So pretty much all you need to do is just either select the pre-made template and this will give you the different pre-made templates. But for the purposes of this video, we are going to be converting text to video. So click on text to video and at the time of recording this video, there are 50 plus themes that you can choose from so that you can work inside in video. Now, once you do that, you'll need to also select the dimension that you want to use. So let's uh, hop in here and then we, by default, there's a wide format, 16 by nine is selected, but depending on where you want your video, for example, most videos might be for social media. You can also do the widescreen videos for YouTube. For example, if you're doing videos, uh, let's say of, 10 best places to visit in Kenya, 10 best game parks in, or 10 best places in the world, etc. You can actually use the wide format for YouTube, Square for social media, uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So once you select uh, the, the format or the dimension that you want, you can also choose from the different stories available from the section down here. You can choose whatever you want. So let's assume we're going to go with this. For example, uh, this one uh, goes something like photography tips. Let's assume you are doing a video on tips, uh, photography tips or whatever. So you can hover over this and see what it means or click this particular section so that you can use the template and see the different selections. So if you're satisfied with this particular template, let's just pause it. It's about 42 seconds. When you're satisfied with this particular template to use when you want to convert your text to video, then click on use this template. Once you do that, there are only a couple of steps that you need uh, to, to follow. And there are three options in this section. Option one, you can add a script. Option two, you can add a URL and also you can also add media files. Both the option to add a URL and the add media files options are still in beta. So let's begin with the option to add a script. I'm going to choose a different uh, topic here. Let's say we go with this one. Seven factors that influence the quality of an automatically transcribed audio or video transcript. Let's just copy that. And let's add that as our topic. That's our topic. And then let's add our, add our story. You can copy paste your story here and we will convert every sentence into a new scene for you on storyboard in the next step. So let's just copy the different uh, pointers I want here so that they can be made into a storyboard. Just press on control V to paste inside. And then if you check this option, they'll auto suggest the images or the videos that can be used for your particular media. Now, I'm not so sure if they're going to do a good job based on the topic, but if you're doing topics like let's say photography, travel, uh, let's say different things that 
can utilize the stock media library that is available inside invideo.io, then this is going to work really well. But let's see the result that we get. I'll click on next. And once I click on next, the editing will begin or the loading or the storyboard creation will begin. This is automated. This is AI powered video editing. So let's wait and see what the storyboard looks like. So the different options here, you'll see the images that have been chosen. You can actually change everything. You'll see your script to the left here. You can close it out to hide it, or you can just click on it to see it inside here. Next up, you'll see the music that is available or being used for this particular clip because by default, there's a music file going with this. And then you can preview all these uh, different clips and then you'll see the duration of this particular clip. If you scroll down, potentially whatever you see may not be something that you like. So what we're going to do now, we are going to actually start editing uh, this particular clip. So all we need to do is just click on the advanced editor. And once we click on the advanced editor, our scenes are going to populate at the bottom. So we can just zoom to fit. So we have about eight scenes. And let's assume you had different uh, images for this. For example, seven factors that influence the quality of an automatically transcribed audio or video. Let's say you wanted to add an image. Let's say headphones. We search for that and see what we're actually going to get. So let's assume we want to get this. We can just drag and drop it inside there and then Instead of uh, adding as a layer, we're just going to click on replace. And once we click on replace, I believe this particular image is actually reflecting or giving more context to what we're actually talking about. So it's pretty simple. You can do that uh, all over. And uh, basically, this is pretty simple. Now, you can also add a voiceover to your clips. So let's say we want to add voiceovers to the clips here. So here are the, the clips and the timeline is here. So this particular timeline, let's say all scenes, let's go back to all scenes. And then we click on voiceover. If you hover over this section, you can record a voiceover, import your voiceover file, import from my uploads or just click automated text to speech. So in video supports automated text to speech. If you click on that, then you can actually uh, set automated text to speech for this uh, initial scene. And you can have different voices for different scenes. So we'll select US English and then you can choose a voice and the different options available, including Arabic, uh, Turkish, Swedish, whatever you want. Let's go with US English. And then from the drop down, you can choose different voices and you can listen before you actually select what we want. Let's say we just go with Sally and then click on generate VO. And this is going to generate voiceover for this scene. But when you check this particular checkbox, if I check on that, then the voiceover is actually going to be generated for all scenes. So let's click on add video to scene. It's going to add the voiceover and you'll see the option voiceover will come here. And this is what happens. All the different voiceovers come in. One thing I know is that this audio is a little bit or the music is going to be a little bit high. If we play it, You can hear that the, the, the volume of the music is a little bit high. What we can do is we can click on the edit button. And once you click, there's the option to volume and fade, trim, loop, duplicate or delete. Click on volume and fade. And once you click on that, you can either adjust the volume down using this option to either somewhere there or basically just click on dark volume and the volume in presence of other audio ducks down so that you can audibly hear what is being said. If I click on this, then I'll need to adjust how much I need the duct volume to be somewhere. Let's sit there. Now, if I'm satisfied with that, I can just click on save so that we can save. But remember that in video automatically saves, but I'll just click on save to be on the right side. So what we can do here is just go back to the beginning and then play. Seven factors that influence the quality of an automatically transcribed audio or video transcript. If all you wanted was to do, do or make those changes or create this video very fast, then that is how you can convert text to video. For the media 
then you can come and look for maybe let's say uh, people talking let's say you can look for something like that because there is where the accents will come in so this image looks good let's just replace that and here you can see uh, the people in this context are talking so let's assume there's some there's some sort of accents and all that so you can keep replacing that all the way to the end once you're satisfied with the edits or the conversion for, for of your text into video then all you need to do is just come here to the download and share option once you click on that choose uh, the format that is the 1080p or 720p let's use 1080p and then click on export and this is going to actually now start processing your videos ready for export so let's just scroll down and see the different options you'll see uh, the particular template that you used uh, just don't concentrate so much on the back uh, the background here of the template or even inside here the changes are actually being made when the rendering is happening so once you do that uh, you can see uh, the different options the download the comments you can download you can share uh, on different platforms you can duplicate the video uh, to whatever uh, option that you want but let's uh, say we give it a couple of minutes and see the result that we are going to get from converting our text just some simple text uh, right inside here uh, it has been uh, automatically populated with images a good soundtrack and then we've just automatically generated or converted our text to speech to spice up this particular video inside in video.io so as i've mentioned if you'd like to get in video.io kindly use the link below and the code dmb25 to get 25 percent off at checkout so let's just give it a couple of minutes and then we'll see the completed video how it looks like if it is something that you can use and then based on what you see use your own creativity and start creating videos or converting text to video using video.io once the video is done rendering seven factors once the video is done rendering it's going to play automatically you'll also receive an email letting you know that your project or your video is complete you can actually come back in and actually see the video you don't really need to wait for it to finish rendering so we can play it and listen uh, and see if the results that we get is something that we can use click on play seven factors that influence the quality of an automatically transcribed audio or video transcript i the number of speakers two accents three background noise Four, the adaptability of the automatic transcription tool. V, crosstalk. Five, recording volume. Seven, the field being transcribed. So, it's done a pretty good job. Just some few issues here, probably with the automated speech to text, uh, where we need probably to use a number so that it doesn't get confused whether it's supposed to read it out as a letter or a number so that's just a few things but basically if you wanted to convert text into videos easily and fast and automatically you can use in video.io that's it from me if you'd like to get in video.io kindly use the link in the description below and use the code dmb25 to get 25 percent off when you purchase or at checkout thanks for watching i hope this video has been valuable to you thanks for watching